Meanwhile, the Nigerian police appears to be reinventing itself in the wake of the protest against police brutality that turned violent. Its National Command and Control Center that came on board in December 2019 is now being used extensively in policing the country. Sifon Essien reports. The Nigeria Police Authorities are implementing more reforms in the force. The Special Weapons and Tactics SWAT team, which replaced the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, is gradually gaining momentum in operations. You will see the patrol vehicle in real time. But the emphasis for the force, here, according to spokesman of the police, is the increasing use of modern technology. The National Command and Control Center of the police is the hub where data, video and voice technology is used to gather, process and analyze intelligence from remote sources. We have the capacity to digitally gather all forms of information, filter through them, and process them into actionable intelligence. Similar to Big Brother, the center watches in real-time activities from remote locations across the country. And even social media messages of interest are monitored. But how many crimes Thank has the center been able to solve? There are some aspects of the key work we do here that are not yet, um, that, that, that are classified, and I would rather not speak on those classified areas of our function. The renewed deployment of technology in policing the country is coming almost 10 years after the initial attempt by the federal government in establishing a national public security communication project became moribund. We need to invest and take all issues that affect security that will, that will better our security with, with, all, with all good intention and seriousness. There's no way in the world where policing comes cheap. This is where all the data are posted. The big question is, to what extent are the authorities willing to invest more resources in acquiring cutting-edge technology needed in crime fighting? C. Fon Isian, TVC News, Abuja.